back to Learning with Miss G. Today we're going to have another very fun story and it's called Miss Wishy Washy's Farm. And this story is about a lot of fun animals and some things that they learn when they leave the farm. Are you ready to get started? Let's get started. Miss Wishy Washy's Farm. It's written by Joe Cowley and the illustrator who drew the pictures is Elizabeth Fuller. Mrs. Wishy Washy's Farm. See that little pig? Do you know what sound a pig makes? The pig says, oink, no, oink, oink. This is Mrs. Miss Wishy Washy, and this is her farm. Here is her house and her truck and her barn. Mrs. Wishy Washy looks really happy to be on her farm. Here by the barn is an old tin tub where all the animals go for a scrub. Do you think the animals like being scrubbed? Hmm, I wonder if they like taking baths. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, moo, the cow cries. I hate this old tub. I've got soap in my eyes. The cow doesn't look too very, doesn't look very happy to be in the tub being scrubbed. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, ee, the pig squeals. I've been scrubbed from my nose to my heels. I don't think a pig much likes taking baths, does he? Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, quack, the duck moans. I've got suds in my feathers and aches in my bones. Poor little duck. The scrubbing is over, the tub goes away. No more washing, the animals say. Moo, ee, quack, quack, quack. Bye, Mrs. Wishy-Washy, mean old Mrs. Wishy-Washy. We are leaving you and we won't be back. So why do you think the animals are running away from Mrs. Wishy-Washy? Yeah, I don't think they like taking baths either. Fast down the highway, they run side by side. Where will they go? Where will they hide? E, the city, squeals the old pig. We'll go to the city where the barns are big. Do you see those buildings that they think are barns? But those are really buildings in the city, so I don't think those are barns. But they're animals from a farm, they don't know. But the city is a wild place. Wild as a farm stampede. There's nowhere to rest and nowhere to feed. I think our little farm animals are realizing that the city is not like their farm. The three hungry animals walk into a barn there is food on the dishes, but not like the farm. The cow looks around with an anxious face. I think we could be in the wrong eating place. The animals are not used to eating food on plates because that's what humans do, not animals. Along comes the cook with an angry shout. You'll be roast on toast if you don't get out. So the cook was not too happy with having animals in his restaurant. They run for their lives to the barn next door and find themselves in a hardware store. Oops. 
So they think they're in another barn, but they're really in a hardware store. A hardware store sells things that you use to fix up things around the house or painting or building things. See, the little animals are all in the paint. Then a van pulls up and two shakes of a tail. It's the pickup van from the animal jail. They're taken away. Oh, what bad luck for the cow and the pig and the poor old duck. So they think they're being taken to animal jail. I wonder what will happen to them. They sit in a huddle, hungry and pale, in the cold, muddy cage at the animal jail. Then the unhappy cow and the pig and the duck hear the chug, chug, chug of the old farm truck. The old farm truck is coming. I wonder who might be in the farm truck coming to save them. What do you think? They moo and they squeal. They quack and they cheer. It's dear Mrs. Wishy-Washy. Ooh, she's here. Mrs. Wishy-Washy showed up to help all of her little animal friends. Far from the city and back on the farm, the animals run to the old red barn. I think they're very happy to be out of the city and back on the farm. Now Mrs. Wishy-Washy fills up the tub. Come on, you three. You need a good scrub. So Mrs. Wishy-Washy wants to give them a nice bath again. You think they'll be happy this time? Oh, bliss, says the cow and jumps right in. Oh, bliss, says the pig with a happy grin. Oh, bliss, says the duck splashing in with the rest. There's no doubt about it. Home is best. And home for the animals was on the farm. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Look, the pig looks so happy. The duck is about to jump in and oh, comes the cow. And that is the end of Mrs. Wishy-washy's farm. So her poor little animals realized that they really liked living on the farm and they didn't even mind Mrs. Wishy-Washy giving them a nice scrub every now and then. I hope you guys enjoyed our story today. So come back and see Miss G for another story time and learning with Miss G. All right, my friends, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, see you again. Goodbye. See you again. See you again, my story time friends. Bye, guys.